outstanding for North Carolina. Anthony Gobriel returns after missing three games for Virginia. An early violation on UNC, and it will be Virginia ball to start things off. Cavaliers come into this game with one of the top offenses in the country. They average more than 15 goals per game. All the way to the cage, uncontested. That's Noah Chismar playing the wings of the faceoff, one of the D middies. And that was Matador defense from North Carolina. This is strategy, Anish. If you look, the whole unit basically stays on. Chismar was a wing. Ben Ware, the long pole, is a wing. They trap the faceoff team from North Carolina knowing that they could get to the rack. Noah Chismar was an attackman in high school, so he feels really smooth and comfortable getting to the rack. But I love the strategy be large by Lars Tiffany. The junior for North Carolina, and now Griffin Schutz will initiate from the high wing. He's built like a bulldog. Here comes Schutz. Cavaliers rely heavily on their top six. Peyton Cormier now sitting on 199 career goals. The shovel pass is intercepted. Barton gallops across the midfield line. Barton, nobody picks him up. Feeds the wing. One more doorstep. Dunk. Owen, or rather, Logan McGovern gets the goal for North Carolina. We're tied at one. Cormier has the short stick. So he wants to get to the rack. North Carolina supports with some defense. And you see the double team. And as Cormier is getting doubled, he tries that backhand shovel pass. It's picked off by North Carolina. Barton runs the break. And Logan McGovern, one in Carolina blue, has such smooth sticks. Fine. Plenty of time to shoot. Jack Boyden will take it out. D3 player of the year at Tufts last season. Little two-man game with Schellenberger. Boyden's got the short stick, gives it up to Schutz. Now Colsey working on Ty English. Good defense here by Carolina. Schellenberger, hands free. Cormier, the bicentennial man. Goal number 200 in his career. They keep pouring in goals for 24 and White. How fitting. Who does he get the pass from? His partner in crime, Connor Schellenberger. And Anish, I'll tell you this much. If Cormier is going to be out in front with an uncontested Schellenberger who's hanging this defense out, we've seen now twice in a row, that is a recipe for disaster for North Carolina because Schell Lacrosse history to get to that 200 goal plateau. All time record 221, Mac O'Keefe of Penn State. Here's Will Corey. He's been a fixture on that second midfield for a few years. Millen snakes around, one-handed shot. It will stay with Virginia on a shot closest to the ball when it goes out. Awarded possession. I think you're seeing a lot of these hang situations because of the wing dodgers from the midfield, the help from behind. Corey got to the top side, and he just dusted his defender, Cooper Frankenheimer. It's 3-1 Virginia. And this is a dangerous tipping point for a Carolina team that lost a heartbreaker to Army. They lost a high point the game before that. You've got four straight ACC games. You're going to be the underdog. You worry if this gets away from Carolina too early. You do. Frankenheimer just allows Corey to get to the top side. As a defensive midfielder, you need to engage at goal line extended. And you need to get some front side pressure. If you're going to allow Will Corey to go in period, it's you're the guy week in and week out. It's A.J. Pilot last week against Army, one of the best. He had five goals in that game. Brendan Lavelle against Penn. That's going to be a flag. Duffy flying toward the crease. We're going to get a push on Virginia. So Carolina gets the man-up unit involved, clicking at 46%. So they get Kastner. Yeah, you see the first step of, of Owen Duffy. So electric and light on his feet. You see the little stutter there. Gets to the inside. And then the put Matt Reedy, rare miss. He was seven for nine shooting prior to that. Back to even strength. 
Here comes Levy out of an ambush. Petromala scoops up the ball. Still plenty of time to shoot. Weyer marks him. Now Carolina has to work in the settled set. Levy turbines away from trouble and throws it away. This Virginia hard five in Carolina blue. Lance Tillman out there with Dewey Egan. Carolina's got a pull out there as well. He's off to the side. Virginia not marking him. So essentially, UNC was going five on six there. I get the idea. You're looking for a matchup, but Virginia didn't even respect the pull. Yeah, but Virginia also understood how to double Duffy on that goal line extended. Here comes Whalen! Mitchell Whalen, they call him the killer whale, the long pole goal. It's 4-1 Cavaliers. One area I think Virginia has improved immensely over the past season is their transition game. One of the reasons is the pole play. Ben Ware has been fantastic. Mitchell Whalen's emergence as a middle of the field menace as well. You have poles like Ware and Whalen who could shoot and score. And those are the guys that I was watching pregame shooting. We're gonna take that chance with three shorties. Noons with a trebuchet pass to Cormier. Over to Chismar, unsettled. Chismar gets rocked. And Tolman retrieves. See Noons is passing today? I mean, pinpoints to recruit for Lars Tiffany a few years ago. It was an attackman in high school. They move him the short kick D midi. Man, he loves to mix it up. Mom Kara played at Johns Hopkins. Dad played at UMBC. Dad Richard, best-selling author of the horror genre, teams up with Stephen King quite a bit. Here comes Schellenberger. The perfect feed, and it's Boyden with the tally, and Virginia in control, it's 5-1. This looks like a standard finish from inside. Watch Jack Boynton's head of his stick and how he manipulates the goaltender here, Anish. This is not just catch and shoot. The slight movement, watch 28 and white, he cuts. And then he twists it across his face to increase the angle. That is high-level finishing. If he shot right from his ear there, he ran out of real estate. There was no angle. So get a hot goalie. He's had one not-so-great half. A half against Johns Hopkins down here a month ago. Outside of that, Matt Nunes has been spectacular. Shuts trying to shake English. There's the slide. Whalen runs off. Boyden joins the party. comes Colsey, bounce shot, score, 6-1, Wahoo Wah. It's a three-year starter, Matt Nunes. He's playing with ice in his veins. The confidence is at another level. No dice for North Carolina. Quick offense. In the substitution game, and I love the way Ryan Colsey at first kind of hesitates, thinking that he's going to get in the six-on-six -six set, but then he just sees a glimmer of space and attacks it. Team right now in terms of creating offense. This team last week had Army on the ropes. They had a 6-2 lead in that game. And then Army was able to fight back. Really no answer for Jake Plunkett. Not many teams have had one. Duffy up top to Johnny Schwarz, part of that junior class. Schwarz bouncing off Erdman. Now back to X. Stepped out shot and a score. Logan McGovern, 17th of the season for the second year grad transfer from Bryant. You remember after his first goal, I said how two handed he was? 
He scored on a beautiful low angle rip in the first corner with the right hand. This time, Logan McGovern, he's on the wing, and he spots up left hand, and he sneaks that. Look at the placement in the shot. Matthew Nunes gets in the wide base. He's a righty goalie, and he sticks it right. Starting on defense. Well, Lars Tiffany has a, a blueprint of, of what he wants as defensive players in terms of their reach and their length, and it's working. Millen can't get topside. Good defense by Toman. Now here comes Schutz. Draws the slide over to Cormier. Got the short stick English. Cormier using that body. Fires it high. That was the old Maryland possession shot. Lars Tiffany. Already two titles in the bank at Virginia. Top Starja won four. Started with that 99 team. Team that ended a 27-year championship drought. Chismar on the doorstep off the great feed from Millen. And Virginia tallies another. This is the lacrosse IQ. How I made the comparison of Millen and Schellenberger. Millen allows the play to develop. He's not in a rush. He has a short stick on him. And the short stick turns his head. You'd think that he'd be flying to the cage, but he realizes when the short stick turns his head, the eyes then go to Millen. He, he didn't interfere with the guy, so it's probably a good move. Second midfield now for Virginia. Menke out there with Corey and Sunderland. Corey's got a goal today. Schellenberger, a couple of assists, still looking for that first goal. Schellenberger turns the corner. Number 100 for his career. And three points in this opening half. The 100 goals. He's known as an assist man. He'll beat you with his eyes. He'll beat you with his feet. He'll beat you with his low angle shooting ability. The magic of Connor Schellenberger, the best player ever to put on a Virginia jersey. Team All-American in two positions, as a midfielder, as a freshman, and the next three years as an attackman. He's the all-time leading point scorer in Virginia lacrosse history. The other five players in the top five all played more games than him. Everyone says, oh, he's around for, for 2020, scores another. I'm gonna continue on this guy. In 2020, the COVID year, everyone got that extra year. Connor Schellenberger was red shirting regardless. He never stepped on the field. If you look at what he's done and the body of work, as a freshman, all he did was win a national championship and was the tournament's most outstanding player. He's done everything. He's checked off every single box. I don't think anyone can argue <laughs> against me. Well, when you make your case, and in the middle of your argument, he goes and scores a goal. I mean, to be a first-team All-American in two positions, yeah. the only player off the top of my head, and I'm sure if you go in the archives, Casey Powell did it. First-team All-American in two positions. Number 10 in there for Virginia, that is Wills Burt, a freshman, with Joey Terenzi out, which is a big loss. He's now the fourth short stick D midi. Yeah, Joey Terenzi was having a season where I thought he was a top five short stick defensive midfielder in college lacrosse. A pit bull. Duffy, skip pass, step down, Dewey Egan. And he gets into it with his defender, Burt, afterwards, 9-3. They've been waiting on Dewey Egan, 6-4, San Diego, California, and he's got a hammer of a right-handed shot. He's played a bunch of attack throughout the course of his career. Put him in the midfield to give that unit some punch, and he delivers this one with a step down. Owen Duffy diagnoses the pressure of the Virginia defense, hedging towards him to support as a Dodger. Let's not take for granted how good of a lacrosse player Andrew Tyre is. I mean, he's been a face-off specialist throughout the course of his career. He's scored a ton of goals. Now he's playing a ton of wings with Brady Wambach, who's 
the best freshman faceoff man in college lacrosse, just tells you how versatile he is as a lacrosse player, Andrew Tyre. Egan marked by Chismar. McGovern now draws Kastner. McGovern's got two tallies. Up top, Petromala. Now Duffy. Looking to move Schroeder. Duffy gets inside and scores. Excellent individual effort by the nation's top freshman coming out of high school. This is a great take, Anish. You know, Owen Duffy against a big body and John Schroeder, I'm thinking that he's going to use his feet. He's not going to want to play the body. But he wins the leverage game here. And right here, you see, he puts the shoulder in and he takes that shot at the absolute perfect time here. Because if he takes one more step, he's toast from an angle perspective. Well, Kyle, Kyle Harrison, Harrison was on one of those teams. But every other team, and I've gone through everyone, had an ex-presence, a guy behind the cage. Here comes Schellenberger. Gets the pick from Corey. Now Toma, the freshman, on Shelley. Good job disrupting the shot. Off the rebound! The stick skills, it's true, it's Sunderland. Call it off. Cleaning up the trash and oh, they call I think a timeout. They call the timeout. So they're gonna wave that goal off. Lars, Lars Tiffany. You owe Truitt. He owes him one. <laughs> you owe <him> a steak. <laughs> oh, oh, poor Truitt, because this was a phenomenal handle. Shelly gets some pressure. Slow shot from Schellenberger. The rebound from Truitt. And yeah, Tolman gets in the body of Shelly. That's great defense by Tolman, the freshman. Catches, turns, there's the timeout. That's he feels the pressure. That's a triple team. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's a sports center top 10 non goal. You look at the, the bench erupts. Oh, <laughs> it's way They off. see the ref wave it they off. They call the timeout. Final 30 seconds, first half. 9 4 Virginia Cavaliers have led by as many as seven. Back in the zone. You got shuts. He can beat you from up top with a hammer. Boyden over to Schutz. Now Cormier on that high wing. Carolina packed in tight. Ten seconds. Schellenberger feet in front to Boyden. Yes, sir. 10-4. Anytime you have a zone, you want two things, Anish. Shooters from the outside and passers who can dissect. Well, you got a couple passers in Millen, and that guy right there who's had more assists than any player in Virginia history, Connor Schellenberger's heads up. I like the, the quick release of the pass, too. The subtlety back. One of those iron axioms, use that sideline as the extra defender. Yes. So this is a unit, the extra man, 45% coming into the season, or this game, season statistic. That's a good, that's a good extra man unit. You want to be around 40% or above. They've got the slick six and they got the shooters. Good ball movement right on the inside. McGovern give him a hat trick. When I mentioned slick sticks, it's a matter of catching, having some deception and the ability to get a through pass, beat the backside of a defense. Right there, this is, when you play the high crease like that, Ryan Levy does a fantastic job of catching and not forcing a shot. When he bangs it back up top, the weakness in the... Jalbert in attendance, Tucker Radabaw. That was a team, ended up beating Syracuse 12-10 in the national title. Connor Gill's freshman season. Yeah. Did an amazing Final Four run. Millen finds the back of the net. 